Hi guys. I'm fucking with you. Okay, it's really late. It's um coming up to midnight, so um hence my crappy dark um camera. I really need to get some more uh, better lighting in this room. <laughs> anyway, uh the final beer I'm gonna be reviewing tonight is from Omnipolo. Sent to me by Johan, all the way from Sweden. And this is the Omnipolo Anagram, which is a blueberry cheesecake stout, which comes in at 12% anagram. There you go. I'm trying to get some decent light in here, because it's a joke. So, all right. Then again, I look a little bit more flattering in the dark, so it's not all, not all bad. <laughs> Right, I've really been looking forward to this one. Yeah, let's get this one poured. Oh wow, I'm getting like fruity notes already. Right, so um, as you can see, it is pitch, pitch black. That's probably the darkest of the um, Omnipolo beers that I've reviewed so far. Um, Hardly any head on that. There is a little bit of carbonation. Very, very dark tan head. Um, do you know what? I can smell it from here. I'm getting blueberry already from here. So let's go for a nose. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, it really, really is like a blueberry cheesecake. You're just getting those big sort of juicy bountiful blueberry notes um they're not harsh they're very nice like floral and sweet on the nose um you're getting that sort of pastry almost as well from like like the cheesecake it is you're getting like a biscuity sort of smell on or like a burnt sort of baked biscuit um as, as well as the uh, blueberry oh it smells so really really nice i see what else it smells like a bit like um Blueberry bubble gum or something like that. That is, oh, that's probably one of the best beers I've ever smelled, um, smell wise. Oh, I could just sit here all day and smell that. Yeah, all I'm getting is blueberries, um, some milk chocolate, that sort of burnt, biscuity, crumbly sort of smell. I really, really, really hope it tastes like the smell. I really, really do. Anyway, Johan, thank you very much. I know most of the beers that he sent me, he's had um, in his cellar. He's uh, sort of um, matured them for a little while. I mean, he sent me a Bourbon County, which is like 2012, which is insane. That's going to be the last beer I review because that's going to be mental. Anyway, we're on about the Omnipolo Anagram. Cheers, guys. Mm. Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. You're getting that blueberry. It's almost like um, like the skin or the pith of the blueberry. Um, you're getting the taste, but it's not... Like I say, it's more fragrant than sweet. Um, you're getting a big, powerful coffee hit on that as well. Not so much chocolate as I thought it was going to be. Um, more more like espresso or something like that. Espresso chocolate. Espresso coffee, sorry. There was something else as well. What was it? It sort of hit me as soon as I tried it. You're getting almost like a fruit cake as well. Mm, yeah, like um, like a sort of, you know, like crystallized candy sort of like taste. Um, a bit of raisin. Um, tiny bit, of, tiny, tiny bit of rum. Almost on the edge. But 
the majority of the taste is that sort of blueberry skin, slightly sweet, lovely espresso notes, tiny bit of bitterness, nice earthy dryness on the finish as well. Um, but like I say, because Johan's had this one cellared, so maybe that's taken the, a slight edge off the sweetness and given more into the sort of roasty notes and all that sort of thing. But it's beautiful. It really, really is. It's such a lovely, lovely flavour. Um, 12%. It doesn't taste that powerfully alcoholic either, so it's not going to put you off. Um, is it a sipper? Yeah, it's still a sipper. But I could give it a good gulp as well because it's got a really nice taste to it, like I said. Mmm, um, yeah, yeah, really good. Rating wise, that's going to get a 9 out of 10 because I was expecting it to be slightly sweeter than that. I'm slightly disappointed. Not too much, like very, very tiny. I was expecting, I don't know, because when, when you call something like a blueberry cheesecake stout, you expect, you get all these weird ideas. It's like when Rogue done the um, peanut butter jelly one. And, you know, you got a little bit of that raspberry and a tiny bit of peanut, but it was nothing like you you imagine in your mind. Um, but, yeah, really, really good. Omnipolo are just wizards anyway. Um, I don't think they can produce a bad beer. So, 9 out of 10. I'm going to sit and make that my last beer, and um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Apologies again for the, for the crap lighting. I'll do some decent... Uh, reviews in the light very very soon I'm a bit pissed <laughs> cheers oh, pardon me